I'm looking at the time. <clears throat> Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. I'm privileged to be right here. This is a living legend. You know, it's so much that I can say about this brother right here. Brother, if you could just, before we kick it in, can you introduce the people with your name and tell them the name of your business right here? My name is Omar Sharif. I'm somewhat the uh, board, board of directors of uh, Mesji Gassam and Absalom Bookstore. Uh, I've been here since 1996, mainly uh, pushing the bookstore and pushing some some uh, consciousness to the people to try to help the people evolve. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I got to jump straight into it because I know you're a busy man, brother. I got the Malcolm X hat on and I thought about the conversation that we had once where you informed me that uh, Malcolm X has said a statement about Jacksonville, Florida. And can you just uh, elaborate and tell the people what he said? Because I'm going to question up behind that. Well, Brother Malcolm, his uh, his visit uh, to Atlanta, Georgia, and from Atlanta, Georgia to Jacksonville, Florida, and when he returned back to the messenger to report to the messenger, uh, he told the messenger, which is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, told him that Jacksonville was the deadest of the dead. And mm -hmm. once the black man in Jacksonville, Florida wake up, the white man is going to be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. So it was just, you know, and that, that stuck with me for a while because I knew that for him to make a statement like that about Jacksonville and Atlanta. Yes, sir. You know, that's kind of some of what George and Florida connecting together. Yes, sir. And we see that most of the uh, the entertainers and the, the conscious community went to Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, sir. So that says something about Jacksonville. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It says a whole lot that, that Jacksonville, uh, when I came in the Nation of Islam myself in 1968, there was work to do then and with you coming from Chicago, you still see that it's uh, somewhat needs more evolving. Yes, sir. You know, so um, I appreciate Brother Malcolm saying that. That's always in my heart. I always put that on social media to kind of to reinform my values and to let the people know who are actually really putting in the work that it's more that we have to do to get in the trenches. Yes, you know? sir. Yes, sir. Now, I got to follow up with that question. Mm -hmm. So when Malcolm said that statement, and I look at the work that you've done in Jacksonville, in this building, you done brought so many people that do lectures and scholars and intellectuals and book writers and black doctors. You brought consciousness and intensified it to Jacksonville. Can you just elaborate to the people on some special known black people that people might be that don't know about who came to this facility? Well, I, I started, I really pick up the work with uh, Brother Manson um, and Shadidi. I mean, they actually really was an inspiration to me, and, and I wasn't much involved, but I do know this, you know, I kept my eye on the positive people, uh, positive people movement that Brother Manson, uh, he put in the work, you know, and he was a foot soldier, you know, and that he got that from Kwame Ture. A lot of people don't even know that Stoke the Carmack and Kwame Ture done been to Jacksonville, mm. you know. Uh, Tony Tony Brown done been to Jacksonville, in and out. So it's been a lot of people, you know, that, 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 that came into Jacksonville, Florida, and, and Bought some people in, but I, I personally felt like the work that this Masjid was doing yes. with, with so-called uh, Islam at the time, because a lot of people tried to target us with being just Muslims yes. and not knowing that you have to reach outside of the box. Mm -hmm. you know. So I took the responsibility to say, okay, well, let's turn the whole thing around. You know, let's, let's see if we bring in people like Dr. Umar Johnson. Oh, and so you brought Dr. Uh, Umar Johnson, Johnson here. Okay. Uh, this room that we're in right now, Professor Griff, okay. uh, uh, Dr. Kaba, uh, Professor Small, uh, Cyrus Sutton Seti, okay. you know what I'm saying? Uh, Seti, and uh, we brought in Dr. Scott Whitaker, and uh, Brother Haru, uh, Queen, uh, Queen Neat, uh, we brought her in, and uh, we brought in uh, other other scholars okay you know yes, and, yes. and what, they, what it did it actually really you know i felt good about it then and i feel good about it now uh and i felt good about what you were doing because what it did it made people knew that you we all can work in different places and don't have to work in the same house yes, yes. you see what i'm saying yes. so that's the thing that i, I appreciate and I, I was hoping that a lot of people saw that it wasn't about me or us and you trying to make nobody muslim that was like the equation. Yeah. The thing was grab the knowledge and build on it, you know? And anytime any any group or any organization drop the ball, it's obvious that we can see what's happening. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? We start missing things 
when we was when it was right at our fingertips. Mm. Okay. We was really at the, the, the crossroad of really taking Jacksonville, uh, especially when we went to the beach and we're making our presence felt, you know what I'm saying, and taking the entertainers and the speakers, the same speakers taking them down there, and at the same time making sure that we bought somebody in once or twice a year, which mm -hmm. was which was really, people don't understand, it's a budget when you bring somebody in. Yes. So you, you was bringing a lot of out-of-towners, guests. Yeah. Let me ask you this, brother. What made you put your heart and say, you know what? I want to enlighten my people. I want to uplift my people. Where did that come from? Well, it, it, it started with... Because uh, you put your... That's putting your life on the line. That's putting yeah. your personal life yeah. on the line. Yeah, it's like you choose to give back to your people. What made you want to do... All these years, what makes you want to continue to do that to where the people of Jacksonville, Florida can be uplifted? And just brought to a better mental state, you know, just to tap into it. What made you want to do that? Well, your heart has to be in it. Yes, sir. You can't expect to get paid. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, you, you're supposed to be, a, as human beings, we're supposed to be service to the people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's being real. Don't expect anything. I heard Dr. Jawawa Jakufu say, when you love a thing enough to wear and that you're willing to do it and don't get paid. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, it just, in fact about it, Kwame Ture said that when... You do something, the people see it, then the people will come and aid you and support you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're going to bring their money when they come. Yes. So, you know, the thing is, is that you got to do it from the heart. You can't expect anybody to give you a pat on the back or expect to. A lot of times, we did programs, nobody didn't even know that I was putting the program on. So a lot of times I did program out of my pocket. Yes. If I didn't get no money back, it didn't mean anything. Yeah. The main thing is that the people got the message. I saw a, a sister inside the uh, Jamaica shop, and she said, oh, my God. She said, brother. She said, you was the brother that brought in uh, Miss Ali. I said, yes. She said, I never forget that. You don't know the impact that that had on my life. Wow. Okay. And and, and that, 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 meant a, that meant a lot to me. You know, when a sister come in the shop, you know, she started crying, saying, well, you know, this is where I got my start at. It, it hurts. You know, inside because you know that you did something to make somebody else aware of what's happening. Wow. They might have been a Christian. They might have been this. They might have been a Buddha. But you did something. Yeah. And that's 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 uh what I I, I put in that type of work because I love it, brother. You mm -hmm. know. And even even with the the move that we're making right now, I'm, I'm not gonna stop because it, it's 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 something you're gifted to do. Yes. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We all have a gift, and the only thing we have to do is cultivate it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So if you spend time cultivating that gift that the Most High give you, then no one can take that away from you. Yes. If, if that's good if they don't like it. That means you're doing something right. Mm. That means you're doing something right. When people, when people just, uh, you know, saying things about you and quit, don't want to do what you got to do, they talked about Brother Malcolm. Yes. They called Brother Malcolm a chief hypocrite. Yes. They talked about Dr. Collin. Yeah. You talked about Kwame Tree. They talk, that's, that's, that's not nothing. The yeah. thing that we have to do, that means that you're doing something right. And what you're doing, it have to have meaning to it. And it have to have some effect to it. Yeah. So we try to affect people hard. And the people around here in the neighborhood, whenever we did events, they knew the block was going to get locked down. Right. So, you know I me, mean? they say, you can park your car here. You know, you could park your car over here. You could come around there to the corner. You could park your car around at the church because you move into an area that you think that uh, you have to come in and just blend in. No, you come in and you're supposed to come in the neighborhood and you're supposed to affect the people in the neighborhood. Yes. You're supposed to come in the neighborhood where the people in the neighborhood are going to miss you when you're gone. Mm. And this is the thing that we, mm. we, have to, we have to learn that I learned this and uh, learned this from one of my, my mentors. He said, well, anytime a person die in a house and that person been dead in that house three weeks and nobody don't go and check on them, they mean that that person was of no value. Mm, okay. You wow. see what I'm saying? So when you affect people, people right. gonna come and check on you. Yes. That's it's just honest. like you, you say, well, hey brother, I can't believe this. Is somebody gonna come and check? Yeah, people gonna put the word out, but let me come and see for myself. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's you know, that's, that's we, we had to serve the people. And we can never give that work up until we go in the grave. It doesn't end. I just got to ask you this. Because I, I I feel some type of way that you're leaving Jacksonville. You're departing everything that you left out here on these streets of impacts our people.
Do you feel satisfied for all the work that you have done and dedicated yourself with? Are you satisfied with the results? Or could it do, you know what I mean, for all the work that you did, are you satisfied with it? It could have been better. Yeah. If I had to do it over again, I'd do it over again. But this is the thing. You got to have brothers around you that are thinking. Mm. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> yeah. You got to have think tanks. Okay. And you got to have investors. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to have investors. See, the problem that we failed to do, we didn't feed the homeless. Mm. We didn't incorporate. We started out doing that. Right. But that should, that, that should have been a goal, and other organizations should have stepped in. Gotcha. And say, well, hey, look, I'm going to donate this. No, no one can never say that they didn't know about it. All you got to do is go to Facebook. Yes. All you got to do is go to Instagram. And mm -hmm. you'll see the work that was did with uh, Monroe Street to Pearl Street. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. So the thing that I, I think that we, 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 we where well, I'm not satisfied at, is that we didn't buy no houses around here. Mm. That's okay. that's that's that that because don't take it don't take money to do everything. It right. take they take the mental. Right. It take the mental. So we had I admit, if anyone want you know say something, we didn't had the brothers around us that had the mental economic foundation. Okay, gotcha. There's no way in the hell you're gonna be around hundred thousand dollar house and sit here and you don't grab two or three of them. Mm. I don't care. That means that that we just satisfied with just the norm. Yes. You know, so that that's you know, that's that's what we fail at. That's where we really fail at. Okay. You know, as I told you the other day, these houses right here are zone for commercial and residential. Yes. I mean I could have my 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 house, my room or where I stayed upstairs and my business downstairs. Yeah. So you was also, and you wanted to intensify yeah, by buying yeah. it up. That's what that's all you gotcha. see in New York City. Gotcha. You go to New York City, they take and they they get blocks. Yes, that's what Master P say. If you want to change the revolution, you got to buy blocks. Okay, you got to buy blocks, mm. and that's the sad thing. Even where you at, the, and where I'm at over there in, in Brooklyn, yeah. the white folks, are, the the economics is pushing us out. Gotcha. We don't that's have the power base. Mm. We don't have the economic power base. Yeah, we can come to the table. We can talk to the man. We can talk to the sheriff. That don't mean anything when we ain't buying blocks. Mm. I'm going to see if I can get... Hold on. We had buying blocks. Hold on. Can we pause? 